Yeah, so on that list of things the arch package doesn't do, there is another one because the whole yeah. they don't have the secrets there. So you don't have the YouTube. Yeah. Well, you don't have the browser stuff, which also I, I it, it well it doesn't even matter. Like so much other stuff's broken anyway. This is just a cherry on top. Um, yeah. <laughs> so you don't have the YouTube twitch and restream integration which doesn't even matter because you don't have the browser integration anyway and a lot of the functionality that comes from the youtube integration is built in with the browser integration because it opens up uh browser uh, docs so uh, it doesn't even matter that it's broken you weren't going to use it anyway yeah technically until uh the the until the new a uh, new browser doc happened for mm -hmm. arrived for youtube Mm -hmm. YouTube was what could be literally the YouTube integration was the only integration that could be built without the browser integration. Okay. But nobody's gonna Google's have a rate limit on APIs. Right. Right. Okay. So I don't think even distributions would even would even try to provide their own API keys mm -hmm. for the YouTube API because you reach the you will reach the rate limit rather quickly mm -hmm. if you have multiple users using the integration mm -hmm. yeah this is one of the things i when i whenever bring up the um the the integration stuff people always ask me well why can't they just add their own api keys and they could add their own api keys but mm, that's the no. problem it's more complicated okay. because of how twitch and restream or these api or designs Mm -hmm. We are we are a sort of main in the middle okay. software. I send the link. Let's see. Okay, OBS OAuth CF. Okay. So we have this thing to be able to have because when you setting uh when you are asking for an API key for Restream or Twitch, mm -hmm. you can you have to put um I always forgot. You have a, you need to set a specific specific HTTP address, mm. a redirect or URL. You need to set that, and so you it's not easy to do that locally because you have a random HTTP port mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And so we have we use that in the middle to to be able to do to have the same redirect URL each time we try to use the integration. Mm -hmm. So they technically need to host simi something similar to this mm -hmm. at the same time. But also you, and since all the distributions have the, none of them provides a way to have secrets. Mm -hmm. So mostly you always happen to leak the API keys at some point. Right, right. And you you don't want to uh, to have them misused. So theoretically, it would be possible if they modified some of the infrastructure. It's just they're not going to do it. Yeah, if they want to create the infrastructure, I think Nobara did it. I think, but it's I don't look at it because it's uh, it's it's a kind of package I try to not look into. Right. Right. Yeah, we can talk about that later, but there, there's some packages I I don't look at it. Or when we do supports, we, sh we are forced to send them back to the distro support. Mm hmm. I, I feel like a major one here is probably the snap. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if... The, I, I, I don't think this is a, a snap-specific issue. There just seems to be this trend of... When someone decides to make a third-party snap, there's just a lot of bad things that have happened with really complex applications recently. Yeah. Um, do you, did you pay any attention to the uh, the Steam snap? All right. Well, it was a fun one. Yeah, I said, <laughs> oh, first one on the the snaps goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the devs yeah. are, are just like, can we, like, please don't use this. And, like, yeah. they had issues where their internal developers didn't realize they had it installed and they were using it as well. <laughs> and it was just this an absolute the, nightmare. This is the biggest issue is that 
people are not conscious of what they were installing because Ubuntu is swapping devs for snaps. That's the real problem. If you were just installing a snap and you knew you were doing it, that's one yeah. thing. When it this is, hides the this fact... Is one of the biggest, this is one of the biggest problem I have, I have with Ubuntu and Canonical is mm -hmm. this simple decision. Mm -hmm. We can always, I could always put out the, oh, the server side is proprietary, but really forcing the user without being conscious. It's not a conscious decision. I don't want to, I'm, uh, it's not so bad if they are. In... When you're using Flatpak, you're conscious, mm -hmm. usually. Mm -hmm. Or you're in immutable distributions and Flatpaks are mostly the only way. Mm -hmm. 